Hey people, welcome to the first episode of Rough Vocal Effects Revisited. As the title says, I'm going to revisit some of the topics that I introduced in my Rough Vocal Effects 101 series in 2020. If you haven't watched that one yet, maybe do watch it before you continue with this video. It's got some great info in it, even though I'm sitting in a car and speaking with a pretentious pseudo-British accent there. <laughs> hey guys, I want to give you an overview of all the different distortion techniques, screaming techniques, polyphonic singing techniques, basically all the dirty stuff you can do with the voice. Now, if I already categorized all the vocal effects and screaming techniques, why would I make an update video on it? Is it incomplete or even incorrect? Well, both actually, to some extent. And I was aware of that back then already. And while this list is more extensive than any other list on this topic I've seen, and can probably account for 99% of all the rough vocal effects you'll ever hear in music, it is still far from complete. With everything in science and teaching, you never stop learning, so you have to start somewhere and just capture the state of the art. And actually, I was planning on updating the series each year, which I kind of did, but it wasn't nearly as detailed as I wanted to, because meanwhile, other stuff happened. Because of you people, I started teaching full-time, which I'm very thankful to be able to do. And also, I released tons of music, which you can find on Bandcamp, Spotify and YouTube, if you're interested. In those last couple of years, I've taught over 200 students and expanded my knowledge about the voice as well as didactical tools and methods. So now more than three years after the Rough Vocal Effects 101 series, I want to give you an update on how and what I teach. Episodes 2 and 3 of Rough Vocal Effects Revisited are going to be quite nerdy as I want to go into further detail on how I subcategorize false fault distortion and fry screaming. So if you think that the content I've made on those topics so far is already a bit too complex for you, then maybe just don't watch the next two videos. But if you have followed me so far and want to take your understanding of those techniques one step further, then I promise you there's going to be merit in this. At least I know that the revelations I had about these techniques have improved my teaching of them greatly, as well as led to much greater precision and efficiency in my own singing. In episode 4 of Rough Vocal Effects Revisited, I'm going to correct some further mistakes and imprecisions that have occurred in the original series, as well as give an outlook on how we can break down all the information to a more simplified level again without overgeneralizing. If that sounds good to you, see you next week in episode 2 of Rough Vocal Effects Revisited. Also, the links to my website, Bandcamp and PayPal are in the video description, in case you want to schedule a lesson, listen to my music or buy me a tea. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content. Thanks and bye.